Welcome you absolute legends, I am Fulfrist, I am Pete, I am back and I'm going to do a little mini series of 15 fragrances that have been discontinued that are well worth finding. Now I have started doing this with like for my favourite discontinued fragrances but I just think these are discontinued fragrances that I just think need some attention to and obviously yes it's going to be hard to find but I honestly think if you can find any of these for a reasonable price those don't run that just, so don't walk, run and get them. I think they're well worth finding. Maybe he's trying even sampling if you can get anything. Well worth finding. Because some of these are getting harder and harder to find. So I understand that some of you are going to P, I I can't find it. I know, I understand that. I completely understand that. But I say, if you're a collector and you want to know any of these, we've got 15 here. So let's crack on into the video. All right, and this is in no particular order. And I'm going to go one side to the other. And I think we'll start with this one. From the house of Dolce & Gabbana, this is by him, but which came out in 1998, 97, 98. This is a woody, aromatic, very sexy fragrance. It is very slightly spicy. It's great all number. Um, I only got a manuscript of 50ml because quite frankly, I couldn't find anything else. So I'm grateful to have this little bit of a bottle. It's not the best looking bottle because it's been through the rigors, if I'm going to be honest. But it is definitely one that I would think is well nice. It's, it smells clean but masculine. And that's one thing I like about this one. So really a hard one to find. Uh, I'm not going to go through this very quick. I'm going to go through them quite quickly. So you're not waiting around for too long. But this is a nice little number. So this is Dolce & Gabbana by him. Alright, the next one up I'm going to talk about. And this is from the house of Guy Lacoche. This is Horizon. This is a come out late 90s. Um, similar to the Dolce & Gabbana, but this one is more uh, lavender based. I couldn't get a spray one, but I've got a splash one. To me, it's like a really soapy lavender, more modern take of uh, Dakar Noir, um, which just came out in the 80s, and this one is a real little head and gem. There's a couple of others that I think are well worth, and um, there's Essence. Um, I've got the original ED2, which I'm trying to find a bottle of that, but, you know, I can't win everything. This one is a stupidly sexy little number, really nice to find, but if you, again, if you can find it for about 50 quid or less, you've got yourself, so even if it's just over 50 quid, I would say it's still a steal. So this is a call from Guy Lagos, this is Horizon. Okay, the next one, I've, I've misplaced my cap, which is not a good start, but hear me out. This one is from the house of Cartier, and this one is Roadster Sport. Now, this was a 100ml bottle. Um, there is Roadster as well, which is also very nice. And this is a bit more, uh, not more fresher, not more mint in this. It smells absolutely fantastic. Again, getting harder and harder to find. So if you've got a bottle of this, cherish this thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect in the springtime and start of the summer. Even when it does warm up a little bit more, this thing will do you proud. Again, I've got, like, luckily I've got a 100ml bottle of this, so... Again, that's really cool. And it also, it's supposed to look like a sports car from like that. So I think that's a really cool concept. So this is another one that I think well worth looking for. This is Cartier Roadster Sport. All right, the next one has been recently discontinued. I think within the last year or two. This is from the house of Byrader. This is Rose Noir. Now, if you don't like rose fragrances, that's fine. That's cool. But this is more like a jammy fresh very floral fragrance but it's really nice it's not hard to pull off most guys can wear this if you know how to wear florals now if you don't fair enough this might not be for you but i do think it is one of the nicer ones there's a few of us from biorated that have been gone for a while but this one i thought particularly was a little bit more different for most and it smells absolutely fantastic. I think this came out in 2011, if I remember correctly. But so yeah, if you can find a bottle of Rose Noir, it's definitely worth a pick up. So especially if you like Florida. So that's this Rose Noir by Bailado. All right, the next one up, and this is from a house that completely gets ruined by everyone because I all I hear is from, oh, it's Davidoff. Yes, it's Davidoff, but this is the, some of the best stuff you'll ever smell in the history of mankind. This is the blend line, and it came out in 2013, 2014, give or take, somewhere around there. This is Amber Blend. There's Leather Blend, Aga Blend, 
and wood blend and they've got all four of them and this one to me is so sexy i would say this is niche quality i honestly say this is so good it's unreal the amber in here is super creamy it's really nice and very inviting little touch of spices in here uh, very potent very like it you only need about two sprays of this this will last a long time so this one for me a right little hidden gem of a fragrance so if you find any of them it doesn't matter which one particularly the amber one this is what we're, this is davidoff amber blend all right the next one up and this was, i think it was a limited time release so i think that's kind of where this was um i think this came out in 2019 uh there's also an uh, other one for this this is called black king now there's a red king um, as well which also smells very good and i'm not sure if that's been discontinued or not but this is so it's almost reminds me of uh prada luna rossa black or Vid midnight in paris it's like a spicy powdery irisy type fragrance it smells absolutely fantastic lasts a long time because dupe does do good powerful fragrances very much criminally underrated at this point uh, if you can find a bottle of this and you're not spending too much money do it but if you can't beware but this one is definitely well worth finding stupidly nice so if you've got any idea on van cleef on pals uh midnight in paris it's kind of on that same ballpark like any of them you'll love this one so this is you on black king all right the next one up is from a house called roshas and this one was came out i think if i remember correct late 90s early 2000 this is called louis and this one is a boozy very sexy fragrance very spicy almost uh, it's a perfect fall and winter fragrance it smells absolutely fantastic again this is not easy to find i will be honest with you this is more of the more trickier ones to find not like any of them are, aren't tricky but this isn't particularly tricky to find um i'm trying to think what it reminds me of um there's a phrase i'm trying to think what it was but i'm gonna say if you find a bottle of this and honestly if you can this one is an absolute gem of a fragrance wear this in the cold weather it's super unique it smells fantastic all i'm saying is if you can find a bottle of this do yourself a favor and if you like a boozy fragrance rahash's louis might be for you all right we're nearly at half i think we're about halfway point right now so this next one um this came out i think if i remember correctly 2014 now the original is still available it's very cheap but this one has been discontinued this is mandarina duck black extreme this is not cheap um i had to pony up a little bit for this but my god was it worth it now i haven't got the original one which is a bit silly i know after i just saw how heard this was getting discontinued found it for a reasonable price oh excuse next door's just doing some work so if you hear all this stuff we have to show must go on so just a second, I'll go back to a sec. All right, we're going to continue on this one. Like I say, it is kind of similar to this one in that it smells on that same sort of powdery, sexy, but lightly spicy fragrance. If you like any of these and you want to pick this up, do yourself a favor, pick it up now. Don't wait much longer because I don't know how much you're going to find this one much longer because Mandarin Duck Black in stream is my next one. All right, the next one came out in a trio um, that came out in 2015, if I remember correctly. They are getting really hard to find now. So if you've got any of them, this is, the one's called Valor, one's called Courage, and this one is the boozy, sexy little number called Fortitude. Honestly, I think this, and this is from Robert Graham. And honestly, I was very, 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 very lucky to have all three of these. And I will cherish these. I do not wear them very often. But when I do wear them, it has to be a special occasion for me. It's, it's, it's sweet, it's sexy, it's got booze in it. It's, it's one of those sort of fragrances that, if you know, you know. Um, I'm sure a few people in the fragrance community has this. Uh, I know Max Forte has it. Uh, I know Sebastian, the perfume guy, has it as well. I do not disagree with what they say. They, I think Max was the one who told me this was getting discontinued. And I, luckily, I found a bottle of soap. Thanks, Max, for that one. But this one is an absolute great old number. This is Fortitude by Robert Graham. All right, the next one up. I had this the longest time. And I've, this is the original bottle that I had way back in the day. Excuse the noise, it is next door. 
Um, this one, the House of Ralph Lauren, this is Crest. This came out in 1991, if I'm remember correctly. This is an original bottle. Um, I wore, used to wear this a lot when I was younger because uh, I was ahead of my time. But it's got like a carnation rose. It's got some herbs, it's spicy. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It is of that time. And it's very much a little bit freshened up as well. Um, I do think it's got some rosemary and stuff like that. And it, it smells freaking awesome. It's got like 4,000 notes that I expected in the 90s. Um, if you can find a bottle of this, pick it up. Honestly, I'm looking for a backup of this because I've said, I've only got half a bottle left. So I'm going to look after this, love it and cherish it. And you know what? I'll only wear it for a special occasion now. So if you can find a bottle of this, this is Ralph Lauren Crest. All right, the next five are left. And this one, I think people will give their left arm to. This it came out in the early 2003, 2004, somewhere around there. This is from Eve Sun on. This is M7 Fresh. Oh my good God. Oh, I do apologize for the noise. Please bear with me. Um, this one. Oh, just call my cap. It is stupidly fresh, spicy. It's not got any oud in it, but lots of woods in here. Smells absolutely fantastic. This is very sought after. I will be honest with you. I'm not saying that's a Trump main pawn. It is very like the original M7. I've got a bottle of that. The new version of M7. I've got a bottle of that. This one as well. Very, very collectible. So again, if you find a stupidly sexy Mexican fragrance that you want it's freshened up, this is for you. So this is Yves Saint Laurent M7. All right, last four to go. And now this one came out in the mid 2000s. From the House of Carrie and Herrera, this is called Chic. Now, this is a beautiful, slightly uh, salty aquatic with a beautiful hit of waterman. And this sounds really bizarre. They said, why would you want to buy this? It's still cheap, actually. I think this is running about 45 quid for a 100ml bottle. Beautiful scent. Perfect for a warm, warm day. I, the warmer the day, the better this performs. This is criminally underrated. And I still think there's quite a few bottles about it. So, this was a little bit easier to find if you want in this. And again, it's a little bit different to what the normal. Just blue phrase. This is a little bit different. And it's the reason why I like this one so much is it is different. And so for me, well worth finding a bottle of this. This is Chic by Carolina Herrera. All right, the next one up and this one is stupidly hard to find. But if you can find a bottle, you're in money town. This from the house of Armani, this is Armani Privé Mer Imperial. This is a 250ml bottle. I have gone through about half it and I really am not using much more. There's a beautiful Mer, but spices in it. A little bit woody, uh, very aromatic as well, which is a beautiful scent. This is very hard to find. Uh, if you can find this, even if it's a sample of it, honestly, it's just amazing. Fall and winter, it's just outrageous. So. This one is one that I think is going to be probably the one the toughest to find um, out of all of these. So if you can find a bottle of this, fantastic. If you can't, try and find a sample at least. So this is Armani Privé Mer Imperial. All right, second to last one. And also, if you want me to do a part two of like fragrances, I think are well worth finding. Let me know in the comments, and I will have a rummage through my collection, and I'm sure I'll get another 15 out of this. So I will say next next one. The next one is from a house that does discontinue a lot of stuff. And this one is one of my personal favourites. This came out in the 2010-2012. Italian Cypress by Tom Ford. This is absolutely gorgeous. It is obviously very herbal, very green, lots of cypress in this. Very aromatic. It's very much if you like Polo Green, the original, this is a more modern take on that. Now, take that with a grain of salt. It's absolutely stunning juice. It's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for the like neutral seasons for me. Uh, when it's like, you, it's not quite warm, but it's not quite cold. It's That's where this one sh absolutely shines for me. So it's a great one. I've got about 35 mil less to this bottle. So I'm holding on to this one. I wear it sparingly. So if you can find a bottle of this, Italian Cypress from Tom Ford might be one for you. The last one we're going to talk about, um, like I say, if you want part two, let me know in the comments. This one's from the house of Hugo Boss. This is Boss Bod 
they sent private accord now it's a massive 200 ml bottle and if you can see i've had a fairly good dent is that so i've had about what, 30 ml out of that this one is all about the meninka but it's so much more it's very it's a little bit fresh it's very woodsy it's an absolute beautiful fragrance again uh, spring so, um, spring and fall so i personally think this works brilliantly absolutely love this one a lot um, luckily, I have got a massive 200ml bottle. I'm going to be struggling to get through this with the amount I've got. As you can see, I've got a lot. This one is a little gem. I think it's still about at the moment, um, but it's, it's um, starting to get a little bit harder and it is starting to price up. This big bottle actually cost me about 35 quid. Uh, this was a couple of years ago and I just bought a bigger bottle. So I thought, stuff it, I don't care. I'm glad I did. So this one for me is definitely well worth finding. Um, it's a few of us from the scent line that I think has gone. I think Pure Accord's gone as well. Um, so this one is my personal favourite. So if you can get a bottle of this, this is Hugo Boss Bold, the scent, Private Accord. Right, it is now time to tell you what I'm wearing in scent of the day. All right, my scent of the day is, um, and I also discontinued one, always running in theme. Um, you could also get this from this house of Dior. This is Dior Oud Rosewood. Again, 250 mil bottle. I am seriously had a good old hit into that one. I've had this a long, long time. So it is definitely a cool weather fragrance. It smells fantastic. If you like rose oud fragrances, you're going to love this. I've got a big bottle of oud Ispan as well, which is a fantastic fragrance. This is a great little number. And as always, let me know in the comments what your scent of the day is. I do love hearing from you. and I do respond to pretty much everyone. I try and make sure... I keep in touch with everyone. Um, but yeah, this is my set of days. So this is Oud Rosewood. Right, so there you have it. 15 free discontinued frames that I think are well worth hunting down for. Even if you get a sample, that's better than nothing. I'll be honest with you. Great old numbers here. So as always, let me know in the comments what sort of discontinued frames that you'd like, uh, either you know about or you think are well worth talking about in another video. Love to hear from you guys. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram. I'm posting it more often than not. And if you want to DM me, yeah, please be my guest. If you want a top 10 list, a friend's group, or a question, hit me up in the comments. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit my subscribe button and join the bunch of legends that is with me. And as always, you absolute legends smell amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.